Key role for credit unions in economic development. Tobago steel bands have improved at Panorama Showing. And there's a new Afro Queen and Windward Calypso Monarch. Info Update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. The national cooperative sector is facing legislative changes to the way they operate. Policymakers hosted a consultation to address various issues affecting the industry that can aid Tobago's economic development. Here's Caroline Wallace with more. Secretary for Division of Finance and Enterprise Development, Mr. Joel Jack, said the recent consultation by the national cooperatives will ensure this key sector continues to contribute to Tobago's economy. It's no secret now that the prices of our main export products, oil and gas, have plummeted over the last few months with negative implications for countries' export earnings, its fiscal position and our balance of payment. It is my view that credit unions and cooperatives have critical roles to play in assisting our country to weather our current economic storm. Mr. Jack believes the credit unions and cooperatives have a role in transforming the island and diversifying the economy. He says that they can also assist in fostering greater entrepreneurial activity in Tobago. It's a sentiment Minister of Labor and the Small and Micro Enterprise Development, Jennifer Batiste Primus, agrees with. I believe that in times such as these, when our economy is being rocked, we collaborate to proper solutions on uniting the sector, thereby safeguarding our collective interests. This is what we call cooperative difference. And preserving our legacy is one of the main reasons we have embarked upon this consultative process. Mrs. Batiste Primus says it's a fact that cooperatives have been used as a development tool in Tobago. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. Tobago had its best year at Panorama in 2016, at least in terms of the number of finalists. One manager is proud of her band's performance and feels Pan in Tobago is improving. Here's more. This year, two Tobago bands finished inside the top three of the medium band category in the Panorama competition. NLCB Buccaneers was second with 271 points, four points behind champion Pan Elders. Third was Petra Trin Katz and Jammers. Katz and Jammers manager Mrs. Beverly Ramsey Moore is happy with her band's results. Mrs. Ramsey Moore said, I think I am satisfied with the performance. The players worked extremely hard and at the end of the day, the hard work paid off. I think both our performance at the THA Pan Champs and at the National Panorama I think it was a fantastic performance. Mrs. Ramsey Moore says Cats and Jammers represented the community of Blackrock and Tobago well. Along with sponsor Petra Trin, she says the performance makes a statement that Tobago's band must not be taken for granted. Other Tobago bands competing in the finals included fellow medium bands, NGC Steel Explosion and Carp Dixieland, which finished 6th and 9th respectively. RBC Redemption Songsetters placed 8th in the large conventional band category. I'm Josanne Brassi for Info Updates. This year's Afro Queen and Windward Calypso Monarch saw new winners emerge from the various villages in Windward, Tobago. Omadara Mills has the details. Annalise Melville is the 2016 Afro Beauty Queen. The Bloody Bay native took home the winner's prize of $12,000 and awards for Best Carnival Wear and Best Afro Gown. Second was Kellyanne Nora of Moriah, while Shalise James, representing Max Masters, was third. Tobago's Windward Afro Queen 2016 competition included winners from the Windward Calypso Monarch competition and winners in the Carnival Beauty Queen segment as well. Nicole Thomas won the Calypso competition with 441 points. Miss Thomas walked away happily with $4,000. Kenneth Punchin Thomas captured second place with 439 points. Colin Mackey McMillan secured the third place position with his song entitled My Concern with 433 points. I'm Omadara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Update.